Mr. President, while House Republicans are squandering precious time and risking American jobs, the Senate will now move forward with a bill to repeal billions of dollars in subsidies to big oil companies. Last year, big oil raked in $137 billion in profits, more than ever before, but still received billions in taxpayer-funded giveaways. Doesn't make sense. Even with domestic oil production at its highest level in almost two decades, prices at the pump are rising. Oil companies are making money hand over fist. When the price of a gallon of gas goes up by a single penny, quarterly profits for the five major oil companies go up $200 million. So I heard on the news this morning that the price of gas the last couple of weeks has gone up 12 cents. Well, Mr. President, that's more than $2 billion for the oil companies. This country continues to give taxpayer dollars to some of the most profitable corporations in the world. Not some of the most profitable, the most profitable. They're doing better than Google and Microsoft and all of them. They're the number one profitable, they're the number one profitable corporations in the world. So it's time to end this careless corporate, wel corporate wel welfare. I'm sorry, Mr. President. The only real way to bring down prices at the pump is to reduce U.S. dependence on foreign oil. That will take additional, responsible domestic oil production and smart investments in clean energy technology. The Senate will vote this evening to advance the Repeal Big Oil Tax Subsidies Act. This legislation ends more than $2 billion a year in tax breaks for big oil and it invests the savings in the clean energy industry where it will grow our economy and create jobs. Repealing wasteful subsidies won't cause oil prices to go up. Repealing wasteful subsidies, I repeat, won't cause oil and gas prices to rise, but reducing America's dependence on foreign oil will cause prices to fall, for sure. But if Republicans continue to follow in lockstep to the drums of oil companies making record profits, one thing will be obvious. Republicans care less about bringing down gas prices than about helping oil companies that don't need help. Congress should pass this legislation and do it quickly before another taxpayer dollar is spent on wasteful handouts to big oil.